Hi, this is WJLP's News Break. I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Since the EPA accused Volkswagen of cheating on their emission tests, sales have declined throughout North America. The EPA and California Air Resources Board made a statement on Monday that some of the Volkswagen models have illegal software which doesn't meet emission standards. The automaker denied the accusation. New Jersey Democrats have picked up three seats in the state assembly. Republicans took control of the Red Bank Council for the first time in 25 years, and Belmar is expected to borrow $4.1 million to rebuild the Taylor Pavilion that was destroyed during Sandy. And Jersey Shore Restaurant Week is coming up this Friday. More than 80 participating restaurants from Atlantic Highlands down to Long Beach Island are offering their high-end meals at a reasonable price. For more on these stories, visit app.com. Hi, this is KJWP Channel 2's News Break. I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Senator Marco Rubio is on the rise after a strong debate performance last Wednesday night. USA Today released their power rankings and have Rubio listed as number one for the first time. Meanwhile, Governor Chris Christie climbed his way up to the top tier in fifth place. Last night there was a shooting in Wilmington's Southbridge neighborhood that left a 22-year-old man injured. Authorities found a car with 21 bullet holes, but the victim took himself to the hospital with gunshot wounds to the left arm and lower left leg. And the polls are open for Election Day. Voters will decide who will occupy various local, county, and state offices. Be sure to cast your votes before the polls close tonight at 8 p.m. For more on these stories, visit DelawareOnline.com. Hi, this is WJLP's News Break. I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Today, the names of the 10 people killed at Umpqua Community College in Southern Oregon will be released. Federal law enforcement officials identify the gunman who opened fire as Chris Harper Mercer, who also wounded seven others in the attack. A frustrated President Obama addressed the nation last night, reigniting the need for stricter gun control. Governor Christie is at the Jersey Shore today in preparation for Hurricane Joaquin. The Category 4 storm is staying well offshore, hovering over the Bahamas. Monmouth and Ocean Counties are still under a coastal flood warning, and shore residents should expect speeding winds of up to 55 miles per hour. And in light of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure will be taking place at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey, Sunday morning. For more on these stories, visit app.com.